Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with an unboxing video this time and it's from Birkenstock. Now I remember when I did a Birkenstock video on the Arizona slide. I think that was about, that was through phase one of lockdown. That video for some reason blew up, I guess because a lot of people were still getting to know about the brand, at least here in India. For Christmas, I got this from the kind folks at Birkenstock and I really was a fan of the first to see Birkenstock Boston clog because it had that nice corduroy kind of finish on the suede leather uh, and then they did a drop too. I'm glad I got my hands on them. Let's not waste any time and get into it. This is very different from your regular Birkenstock boxes because they come in that blue kind of a box. And one thing you should know is that all of the Birkenstock collabs drop under 1774. Like you can see right here, the year 1774. That's like a separate segment, not segment, category. That would be like a separate category where they have all of the collabs like the Rick Owens collab and so on and so forth. And this box is hella nice. You have all the different models right here of the Birkenstock. I have the Arizona. Actually, I have like three pairs of them. This is something that's standard across most of their regular blue boxes as well. They provide you with a look at all of their different models. Let's lift this lid open. Ah, you have like a sticker sheet? Is that a sticker sheet? Right, Birkenstock loves India. Lift this sheet. Wow. As I get this out, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because I have content coming out every now and then. And if you're a regular, give this video a thumbs up. There you go. Now, this is a great entry point into the world of mules. I'm not sure if you guys know, but when the second drop of the Stussy Birkenstock Boston clogs happened, they came out in three colorways. There was a dusty pink, there was a kind of a grayish, bonish colorway, and this one that's called the caramel. I was a big fan of the dusty pink. I had my eye on the pair, and as soon as they dropped, my size sold out. So I wear a UK 8, a US 9, and in Birkenstock, that's a 42. But somehow they had a 7.5 left. So when it was time for me to get a pair of these from the people at Birkenstock, I opted for 7.5. Unfortunately, it didn't fit me too well. And I had that sent back and swapped out for this pair. And gosh, I gotta tell you, the suede is super soft. It's it's so delicate, it makes me feel like, ooh, this suede is super, super soft. You have the Stussy branding done there, debossed into the upper, and then you have Birkenstock on the other side. This button, of course, says Birkenstock, and you have it on this clamp. As for sizing, these go through to size. You have your regular cork midsole, cork midsole, and a uh, pretty decent, reasonably gripped outsole. The upper, like I said, is suede and the insole lining as well right here is leather. You'd be able to see that on this tag. Yeah, upper leather, lining and sock leather, sole, other materials, non-leather. There's no other Stussy branding and like you all would probably know by now, every single pair is made in Germany. So this one too says Birkenstock made in Germany. However, I must point out that the Stussy clogs are priced at about $200. I paid 15,000 nearly in India. And uh, you do get their regular, or as you'd like to call a GR kind of a release, which is a lot lower than that price point. So if you wanna just check them out, try them on for your fits, because they have some really cool uppers. Oh man, sorry, this is so soft. You could get them at a lower price point. Great to rock some fits with these. I think I'm gonna have to put some protectant spray on this upper because you know how suede can get. with a lot of wear and tear. I'm gonna now slip these on feet to show you what they look like. And as you know, Birkenstock is known for their footbed and these are comfortable. I'm mildly flat-footed, so it isn't much of a convenience, but then they support the natural arc, arc, arches. But then they support the natural arches of the feet. But I think they're comfy, they wear well, and are quite nice. Love it. 
for this autumn <laughs> winter season especially but the pair came with this dust bag i think it's not with all pairs and it's likely just a christmas special i don't know but yeah this dust bag came with a pair what do you think let me know in the comments really how do you think these look with a fit on also should i wear them with or without socks i wouldn't recommend you going down half or upper size because true to size is the way to go and they fit perfectly well. I might have to tighten this a little bit so that there's a little more lockdown. Let me know in the comments, would you rock a pair of Boston clogs? And what are your thoughts of this collab? Man, I still regret not being able to get my hands on the dusty pink pair because that was, thanks for staying all the way to the end. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and I hope you have an even better New Year. Peace.